So after this initial burst of rain, they usually produce one to three inches of rainfall in a very short amount of time. And it's a quiet flooding. We're likely to have more rain on top of it as the low level jet stream comes up across uh, central Kansas and heads toward us. So this is just the beginning of the more rain overnight tonight. And the leading edge should be on the far eastern periphery of the metro area by around 3 o'clock or so in the morning. So in the next 30 to 35 minutes. Uh, so the enormous amounts of rain, lightning, wind. We're getting power outages uh, coming in, reports uh, at such a pace we always can't keep up with them. So, needless to say, stay inside, stay away from the exterior window in case these high winds blow in some tree limbs or, or something that might break the window and cause injury for you. And uh, be cautious of if you do have to go out and drive, there may be some flash flood issues going on right now as this rain is coming in at uh, very high rates of speed. And it uh, looks like the heavy cell is now in. Jackson County, basically uh, right along the uh, Johnson County line in 